Hey YouTube, welcome to this little tutorial about how to do a frame by frame animation on Anime Studio Pro. Again, this only works on Anime Studio Pro, but if you have Anime Studio Debut, um, you can still do frame by frame using the switch layers, uh, which can be accessed through the layers tab right here. Click on switch. Um, but if you are an Anime Studio Pro user, you can download a script. Um, I'll have the link in the description box below. Um, I didn't make the script, in fact, um, I had nothing to do with the script, I just found it on the Lost Marble form. Um, again, all the credit goes to the person who made it, and I don't remember the name right now, but then it should be somewhere on the screen, because I'll probably add that in later in uh, editing. So anyways, let's get right to it. Um, basically, you want to download it, put it in the tools section, and uh, make sure you add it to a tool list, or else it might not function properly. Um, so yeah. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna draw two eyes and a mouth, and we're just gonna basically animate an eyeball. So this one just, this one just, this one will remain static. And we're gonna click on vector, and this is the layer that all the animation, the frame by frame animation, will be happening on. So we're gonna create the pu uh, the two pupils, the pupils. That sounded weird, pupils. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do that, and we're gonna go to the next frame. Click on the uh, script that you added to your tool section, and basically there it just compresses everything to this one uh, vector shape. Um, it does not show on rendering. It's, it's not a shape, it's just a vector thing. So um, we're gonna enable onion skins. And we're gonna zoom in a bit. And we're gonna draw the second pupil a bit up. Go to the next frame. Click on the script. Go to the next frame. Click on the script. Next frame. Next frame. Next frame. So, oops. So, uh, we're gonna dis enable onion skins and also. Oh, well, yeah. Um, if we take a look, this is how it looks like basically. It's, if you go to frame zero, you can see all these, but then they're invisible. They're not made. Um, they're not a shape yet. So, we're just gonna go. Um, uncheck the show points option. And basically, if you play it, that's how it looks like. The one downside to this is things can get complicated if you want to space out the keyframes after you do them. Um, after you draw them, for example, if I want to space them out right now, it, you know, sometimes you might accidentally move the keyframe that's supposed to be there and not, uh, not related to the frame by frame animation and, you know, all those kind of stuff. So, subscribe, comment, and leave a comment below, and if you don't know how to add the script to your anime studio pro software make sure you leave a comment below and i'll make a tutorial once a lot of people comment and by a lot i mean like two or three so anyways um thank you guys and um see you later